Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at earthquakes and world weather. Having a look here, the last 48 hours on our sun did produce five solar flares, large ones, four of them being M-class and one of them being an X-class solar flare over the past 48 hours. Looking here at 100, 304 angstroms, the last 48 hours incoming. Left side was noted yesterday, all the plasma filaments stretched across the southern hemisphere. One of those ropes did fall back into the sun and as well, active sunspot region cresting in. Looking there on the right-hand side. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Quick look. Center of this disk. As that is where these M-class solar flares were firing off from. One of them being a very small X-class flare. Another closer look here at the regions firing off. Plasma filaments stretch across southern hemisphere. One was shaped like a big hook there. You can see those darker lines and as well that flash from the solar flare. Plasma filaments fell back into the sun just after that solar flare. Amazing imagery here with uh, Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look at multi-spectrum showing the last 48 hours of events. Very eerie looking sun right now as this is the most activity I have documented in my five years here on YouTube. Another light here showing coronal holes, darkened regions, one outgoing and as well one kind of creating in an earth facing position, slightly diminished from that plasma filament collapsing back into the sun. Having a look at our solar X-ray flux, remains in C range, jumping up with five M-class solar flares and one of them just about an X-class solar flare. Solar proton flux, steady. Geomagnetic activity creeping up to KP5 right now at the moment, and that is ahead of the space weather we were expecting. Having a look here, real-time solar wind sitting at 492 kilometers per second after being jacked up to over 600 kilometers per second earlier today, 606. But you can see the penetration and the start of the space weather event right there. Density bunches climbing up, temperature and everything. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing the next space weather event coming our way. It looks like it will be arriving October 7th into 8th. Schumann residence for today is a power of 6. A nice healthy low power yet again. So yeah, quality of 9.7. Amplitude of 6. Power of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes here. The past 24 hours kind of in a hum right now. About 230 earthquakes across the USGS. Minor earthquakes continue through Hawaii. Nothing major to report across the North American plate. Minor activity through Texas, Oklahoma, and of course, California, up into Idaho as well with a 3.1. Alaska seeing minor activity as well, 4.2 being the largest through the region. Wreck Jane's Ridge, 5.2 there today. Earthquakes seem to have calmed down after seeing quite a few over the last week. Quiet through Central America. Things picking up through Puerto Rico. South America, pretty quiet as well. 4.9 there, East Pacific rise. And then we got some pretty deep earthquakes here. 529 kilometer depth, 4.4. And as well as 609 kilometer depth, 4.3 Fiji region. So heads up, larger shallower earthquake to follow. Lots of activity south of Japan through Nishinashima, Bonin Islands region. Another deep earthquake there, 410 kilometer depth, Kuril Islands. And that's the past 24 hours for earthquakes. Nothing major to report. 
quick look here at the last seven days for EQs across the globe. Stay aware, prepared, everybody, and just have a plan and be ready for anything. That means have a bug out bag, emergency supplies bag ready at any time. Interesting swarm there, Rick Jane's Ridge, North Pole, towards the North Pole, and as well, all of the activity here, Marianas Trench, moving northward up into Japan. Now, speaking of which, here is satellite imagery showing all of the volcanic ash and SO2 being spewed into our atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean, south of Tokyo, Nishinashima, had quite a large eruption. And you can see all of that haze and SO2. And of course, volcanic ash and particulates stretching through the jet stream right there. Pretty tightly whipped low pressure system just north of that, heading up into Japan for the long range. SO2 models with windy showing quite an eruption and as well a forecast here quick look at so2 forecast models for the pacific ocean lots of so2 coming off of kamchatka but that dark red region south of japan that is our culprit where nishinashima erupted and sent ash so2 and debris into our atmosphere looks like most of it's going to be heading westward into china Another look here at NASA Worldview. This is today, October 3rd. You can see that gray haze in our upper atmosphere. Low pressure system had just whipped by Typhoon. And then right after that, eruption at Nishinashima. Now that we're on Worldview, I'll show you here. We've had quite a few dust storms form off the coast of Africa. Having a look here at satellite imagery, let's just back it up here to about the 28th into the 29th, heading across the Atlantic. And then look at these large plumes moving northward up into Spain, parts of Morocco. Very large dust storm heading up into Spain right now. Something else I wanted to share with you here was before and after images of Hurricane Ian. Now let's just back up to before Hurricane, Hurricane Ian made landfall. You can see off the coastline there, clear waters, not much has been stirred up. And then we had that Cat 4 Hurricane Ian devastate Florida. And look at the sediment stirred up and spewed all across the shorelines. Our world can change so quickly. And Hurricane Ian is a big testament to that. Speaking of which, Hurricane Ian, the low pressure system is just now leaving land as it came up through the Carolina states, spread moisture and cloud cover across Ontario and strong winds. Watching for the next system here, 91L moving through the Atlantic. Quick look at windy forecast showing some pretty big storms heading towards the United Kingdom this week. Wednesday into Thursday, very strong winds and as well some low pressure systems bringing lots of rain. So heads up Europe, you've got a big storm on your doorstep right there. And no major hurricanes forming in the long range forecast here with windy. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide. We'll keep you updated. I want to thank you all for watching and please don't forget to smack that like button if you enjoyed the video and thank you so much to all of the memberships. I appreciate your love and support to the channel. Thanks for watching now. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next time now. Bye-bye. Much love and prayers for humanity. Good night.
today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.